Welcome to Love Them Knives. We've got we got a big one. It's a big one. Oh, hold on. Let's let's see if it fits. Is it? Ooh, yeah. I think it it is actually true to size, isn't it? On this. Wow, that that's something, isn't it? It's a big box. It's a big knife. It's a fixed blade. It's Torbay design. And he's a Polish gentleman, Torbay. Um, he, he's done like the Maxwell and some others for Savivi. And let's just have a, a little look. Um, this one here is the Kepler that he did. Okay. Way less expensive. Less expensive. A little smaller. A little smaller. And then he did, if I can click these pages, the Maxwell as well, which was a little bit bigger. Yeah, that was 10 inches overall length. This one's still bigger than that, though. And here is, you can get it in all black. You can get it in the green. You can get it in the tan. I got it in the green. Mm, like it said, Torbay, 19.7. Come on. 19.7 ounces. Black's black Kydex sheath. And here's your stats, 12.5 overall length. Blade thickness is 0.25 would be quarter inch thick. D2 and all that. Cleaver, flat grind, okay. $189. Now, if you get it on White Mountain Knives, LTK is your discount code, gives you 10% off, which if it's, a, if it's $190, it gets you $19 off. So then, okay, it's less expensive. It's still money, especially for a Civivi. You know, most of the Civivis you see are around $60 to $100, maybe a little over $100, this and that. But this one is big. This one's big. And so I'm, I guess I'm not surprised that it went into the Civivi line because uh, of the D2 and the general construction and everything. This is not really high end that we knives might be doing although we knives has done you know g10 scales and stuff but not with d2 okay it's usually 20 cv or something like that but you know what these remind me of and let me let me show you uh, i mean this is just the way it kind of struck me phil harvey knife right like the peacemaker doesn't i mean to a degree I mean, that's just that kind of overbuilt, crazy, insane. And I think the Peacemaker is like 11. It's more than 200 at a zero, okay? Um, but it's more like 11.5 inches overall length and all that kind of thing. Now, this is Harvey Blades. This is his website on. You know, he does these crazy, huge, overbuilt folders. He's in the UK. Um and then here's another picture. But I mean, that just kind of struck me that way, I guess. And so that made it one of those things where I thought, you know, I really want to get this because first of all, it's not $2,000. Second of all, um, I think this will hold up pretty well. It's just fantastical. It's insane. It's and it comes with a lanyard. That's what threw it over the top for me. A la no, I'm just kidding. But it does come with a lanyard. And, you know, so you got, uh, you know, striking there. Striking only if you're a Viking, right? Because you're thinking, I'm thinking Nordic, aren't you? I, um, you know, I guess really if you took this out camping and stuff, um, this would be, this would be good for, I mean, D2 has got a lot of toughness to it and you can field sharpen it and all that. So I would say, yeah, you, I mean, this is definitely bushcrafting, you know, I mean, chopping limbs off and, you know, building, chopping kindling for a fire and this and that, you're not going to do any real, de oh yeah, detail work. Hold on. Uh, yes. Let me, let me get that wart off of the side of your face. No, no, but hold on. Give me this. Let's get something here. Okay. I mean, it's got, 
a, a good edge on it. Well, I'm pulling off at the last minute. There you go. Like that. That's pretty slicey for a big old monster like that, isn't it? And these are number 20 uh, Torxes, I reckon, I reckon. So you can take the handles off here, and it is, and I'll take the handles off, so I'll show you that, you know, it's got, some, it's skeletonized here and here to where you could bind it with something else, maybe a longer pole, you know, I, I don't know, but I mean, it's possible and make it even a, you know, maybe, uh, you know, extend the handle out, but I don't know what else, I guess you could cord wrap it. You know, if you wanted to do that, and maybe, I don't know that that would reduce the weight that much, but uh, there may be some reason you might want to do that. So you can do that, and it's got jimping on the top. This thing, 19.7, almost 20 ounces at 500 and some odd grams on here. And let me, uh, let me, where's my, where's my scale? that I just pushed aside somewhere. Here's my scale. And, uh, you know, this is not going to be easy to do, but okay. Yeah, so there is, before it rolled off, yeah, almost 20 ounces at 565 grams, okay? Okay. And I, I also sat this on my postal scale, which is that way. So it has a bigger pad. It actually sat all the way on there. But yeah, that is the weight right there. So it's a Haas. And uh, let me see. Let's see how much it's got. 0 0.82, 21 millimeters. So it's full in the hand. Um, and I'll show you when I disassemble this. This is thinner in here. This is thicker in here. And I think this is pretty much about the same thickness here and here. But it gets thinner here. So the pass-through here, you got to remember, this is a little shorter. These are longer. So remember that when you go to reassemble. Uh, or you'll have this the screw... If you have this little pass through, you have the screw there and it's like, it's not meeting. It's not meeting. Yeah, the reason is, is it's not long enough to reach all the way for that screw to make contact. So yeah, there, there you go with that. Uh, but this, is this, uh, let me see, what do we got? Five millimeters. Okay, so six is a quarter inch. This is 0.19. Okay, two, you know, 0.2. Five millimeter thick blade stock. You know, it's comfortable. They did a nice stone wash on it. It looks good from that regard. Whew. Gotta be careful with this thing. And uh, it's full tang. It's beefy. It's tough. I don't think you're gonna harm it. I really don't. I just think it's... Uh, I, you know, it, that it's a, a specialty kind of blade, but I, I think it was done for, you know, for the artistry of it, kind of like the Maxwell as well, you know, uh, but it's just really badass looking. And, you know, you can get up and, you know, do whatever you're going to do. Maybe you're going to scrape some bark or strips off of a, a branch or something, do it very carefully, thin strips or whatever, you would be able to control it like that. But then you want to swing this baby. Yeah, that's that's going to be effective as well. So I think you could take down saplings real well, real easy with this thing. It's, uh, yeah, it, it's something that you could do a lot of different bush crafting chores with. But other than that, and then, of course, this, okay, this comes through here. This is your lanyard. And so you got a little cutaway here to kind of keep clear of that lanyard so it can move. But, of course, you know, for 
striking, that kind of thing, that's nice as well. So like I was saying, 20s, right? Get me a 20. Well, what is your 20? Okay, here we go. And, and these, I mean, this is not the first time I've taken these off. This is the second time. The first time I had to hold it in place here on the other side because these turn, they're not D-shaped, etc. So, and your pass-through, let me see, I'll show it if I can. Well, this is the one, yeah, this, this one never really came out. The I'll show it to you, okay. But yeah, I had to kind of stabilize it with another 20 uh, uh, Torx, okay, here like this, and then pull this. But I'll pull this back scale off, you can see, right here, like that. And see, there it is. So this one being a longer stem than this one here, and I'll show you that here in a second as well. But yeah, these were these were locked down. They had some, they definitely had some thread locker on them, and so yeah, it 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 was a little bit too. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, see all that thread locker on there. Yeah uh they're not making it easy for you to do that maybe i understand that to a degree so here's the middle one here see they're different length because they're different depth between the middle piece and this little end piece so i mean you may ask well then what is the difference and squeeze you know 0.68 to 0.82 right so to 0.83 yeah so that's the difference there in the thickness. Now, let's uh, get this baby popped off. I never did push that. I didn't want to get too rough with it. But I imagine if you get a little metal hammer, maybe plastic hammer, you can tap that back through. It should go. But there's the inside here. You see, these are skeletonized out. And then you've got these holes. Boom, boom, boom. So, I mean, you could do a full cord wrap on this thing if you wanted to, which might be interesting. Or whatever. What have you. You know what? Yeah, that'll move. But it's, yeah, I tried to pop it through and it just couldn't push it like this. I tried to tap it with this and it wasn't working either. So I go, okay, never mind. I don't care as long as I get this side off and just have a look. Okay. But then... Right here is where you got that little cutaway for that for that lanyard here at the very end. And that's that's what she looks like on the inside. But <laughs> let me just uh, make this statement. The Vaquita too. There you go. There you go. Good little buddies. And so are this this is also a Savibi knife. And guess what? This is way below $189, way less. And it comes in a smaller box. Oh, there's a little sticker. And there's another sticker. And a little chain for this because it can be a little neck knife. So just think, you can go fixed blade. Crazy, right? Wear this around your neck. That'll just slide in your pocket. No problem. People might look at you funny, but other than that, it ought to be good. And put it in here. Uh, no rattling. No problems there. And you got a little hole for drainage. So that's good. Uh, but it, it's not that difficult to pop off of there. But it's, it's pretty solid on there as well. So yeah, right like that. What do you think? I like it. I think it's my favorite Torbay from Savivi so far. What do you guys think? I know, it's crazy. These are big. These are tough to do on my table. And it's 94 degrees outside with 70% humidity. I'm not going out into the woods, getting eaten alive, and chopped with this thing. No, no. 
Um, so, nah, it's just uh, amazing. But it would be, I don't know. I might be tempted to do a little thing sometime and post it on Instagram because, you know, you get the feeling you just want to, don't you? You just want to try it out. It's sharp. See what kind of edge it holds. And, uh, you know, what kind of, what kind of action you can get out of this. Take care. We do love them knives. So you guys stay sharp.